Hey G Squad, welcome back to the episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode, the is around here and basically what this is, is a car phone mount holder. So you basically set this up in your car or if you guys want to use it on your desk to actually hold your phone or whatever, you definitely can as well. So as you can see, this is basically what the packaging looks like and it's from this brand right here. So first thing first, I'm going to open the product to show you guys what the product looks like first. So you basically want to peel off the tape in the back right here and then open it up. When you guys first open up, this is basically what the packaging looks like. Let's take everything out. So right here we have the phone holder and you want to take off this part right here. When we take off that part right there, you guys can see everything else inside. So they probably got this accessory if you guys want to mount this onto your car. They also probably got this accessory if you guys want to mount it onto your air vent. And then here's the one you guys want to use to mount it onto your windshield or if you guys want to mount it on your dash, you definitely can as well. And last but not least, we have the instruction manual to teach you guys how to set a product and how to use it. And that is basically everything that's in the package. So let's open this up first to show you guys how to use it. So you basically want to insert this part right here into the car phone mount. And then this part right here, you basically want to turn this part right here to unlock it. And you want to turn the other way to lock it. And you basically just want to insert this side into your car air vent. So that way you can actually mount this on there. So that is the first accessory that's provided for you guys. Now let me actually show you guys the next one right here. All right. So here is the next mounting accessory. So you basically want to insert the phone holder on this side. And bottom part here, you basically want to stick this onto your windshield. Or if you guys want to stick it on your table, you definitely can as well. As long as wherever you guys want to stick this on is compatible with the suction cup, then you should be fine. But basically the cool thing about this option right here is the fact that if you guys want to move this option right here or this option right here, you definitely can. Let me show you what I mean. So you basically want to unlock this part right here and you can pull this part out and that's how far it can go. Let's say if you guys want to lock it halfway around here, you guys can lock it back up and now it won't move anymore. And if you guys want to adjust this part right here, you basically want to loosen up this part right here and then move it up and down. And then right here, we'd have a lock switch. So let's push it down. That will lock the bottom part right here. And then basically once you guys set this part up as well, you guys can lock it back up. So that way it won't move around. And basically for this accessory right here, you guys can stick it onto this accessory if you guys want to use this option. Because if you can see on the bottom part of this accessory, it does have like the little tape that I believe is like 3M tape that you guys can stick onto your car instead of like the windshield option. And they mentioned how the suction cup on here is actually really strong. It can support up to 52 pounds if you guys put this on something that's 52 pounds or below. So those are all the different parts and accessories that I provide for you guys. Now let's take a look at the actual part right here. All right, so when we take it out, you guys can see that this is basically what the product looks like. So I've been see on the side right here and right here and also on the bottom part as well. They definitely have the little cushion right here so that way actually protect your phone from getting scratches or whatever and won't damage the product when you guys actually clip it together as well. On the side right here and also on this side as well, they do have the little buttons or switch to actually open up the arm right here. You can see, so you definitely press either side to open it up and when you guys want to clap it together, you guys want to go like this to clap your phone together. And on the side right here, they do have a very good grip. So that way actually makes it a lot easier for you guys to grip it and close it together if you guys need to. And then for the bottom part of the legs right here, if you guys want to extend it, you definitely can as well. So like this. So that's how far it can go on the bottom part. If you guys want to push it back up, you can push it back up like that. And then right here in the back, this is basically what it looks like. So you basically want to insert this into one of the accessories that I showed you guys earlier. And the way how you guys do that is by loosening up this part right here first. All right, so we just loosen it up. So let's say we want to insert right here. We want to push it in, just like that. And you guys want to lock it in however you guys want to. And then once you guys got it locked in, they can start using product. So like I mentioned, they provide you guys a lot of different options on here. So whether you guys want to mount it in your car, in your desk, your windshield, your air vent, or whatever, you can definitely mount it almost anywhere. And for this phone mount holder, it's compatible with a lot of different cases. Ranging from like iPhone 13, iPhone 13 Pro, iPhone 12 Pro, and the list goes on. And when you guys feel the back part right here, it definitely has a very good grip as well to prevent the phone from moving around when you guys put it on here. And then right here, we do have the logo right here as well. So that is basically everything that's on the product. Now I'm going to show you guys how to use it and show you guys when actually it works. All right, so we got the part right here. Let me show you guys how to use it if you guys want to use it on this kind of desk. So you basically want to peel the bottom part right here. You basically want to push this part up. You basically want to put this onto the table like this, push it down, and then you basically want to lock this part in the bottom right here. And once you guys secure that part and lock that right there, they can start using the product. So you see, we definitely have the option to move it up and down because it's not fully locked. Once we fully lock it in, they won't move anymore. Same thing for this part as well, if I move it forward and backwards. And then if you guys ever want to take this off, it's very easy to take it off as well. So you just want to go like this. And you basically want to pull this part off like this. And then you guys all set. So we put our phone right here and grip it together. 
that's basically how you guys set a product and how to use it. And if you guys want to move it this way, you definitely have the option to do that as well. And like I mentioned in the bottom part, if you guys want to charge your phone or whatever, you definitely can plug in the cable in the bottom as well. So once we clamp it in together, you can see the clamp is actually really strong. It actually holds the phone really nice. And you don't have to worry about dropping your phone or anything on here. And I'm seeing the bottom part here, the way how to design it, it definitely give you guys the opening if you guys want to plug in a cable to recharge the product at the same time. While you guys have the phone mounted on here. And we see the back part right here, it is a ball head design. So if you guys want to rotate it around, you definitely can. So you can adjust it however you guys want to. And then once you guys grip the phone on here, you can definitely push up and down as well to whatever perception you guys want. And you can also adjust this part as well. So if you guys want to bring up or down, you can definitely do that on here as well. But basically once you guys set this part right here onto your dashboard or your dash or whatever, you basically want to use this switch right here and push it down to lock it in place. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now that you're unboxing and testing the product, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this product, I would definitely have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want one or need one of these. Especially if you guys are trying to look for a phone mount that you can put in your car or your desk or even if you guys want to put this onto your air vent or your dashboard. Basically, if you guys want to get like a phone mount to actually hold your phone wherever you guys want, then this is definitely super worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or haven't wanted these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.